Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Happy Monday. All right. So I have to activate these superpowers. I have a lot to do today. But today I have chosen that, hey, Terry, I'm going to work from my comfy bed today. Not that I'm feeling sad and not that I'm feeling lazy, but sometimes I just like to sit with my feet up. And it's not comfortable to do that on the couch. So I'm going to do that in my bed. And then that way the puppies can lay next to me. I'll get all my work done. And then I'm going to get my sweat vest on. And then I got to get this sucker fixed. I just got my nails done and it cracked like right here in the middle. I really don't know how I did it, but whatever. What's done is done. And I have the best nail girl ever. I text her last night. I'm like, I just broke my nail. She's like, come in tomorrow at 145. I'll fix it. So love her. And then I need to get the name of this color because I need to buy it. I absolutely love this color. So anyways, to what I wanted to talk about. Again, guys, read another chapter today. And today's takeaway was something that I really, really had to share. Good morning. I see you guys hopping on. Happy Monday. So I cannot believe this is Thanksgiving week. I'm so looking forward to my food for Thursday. <laughs> That's all I keep thinking about is the food that I'm going to be eating on Thursday. I'm such a foodie. Um, so I am in love with this book. I actually can't wait to get my autographed copy. And um, this is the copy I'm reading. The autographed copy is going to stay nice. Never open because it's going to mean a lot. Um, there's been so many things that this man right here has helped me with. For those that don't know who this is, this is Sean T., um, and hey Harold, he is a fitness instructor with some of the fitness programs that I am absolutely in love with. I have worked out live with him. Um, his, one of his workouts, T25, got me wedding ready. Does anyone want to try it? Let me know. Um, he's just amazing. Motivation, inspiration. Um, so today... The thing that he talked about, he ended the chapter with the saying that I wrote on there. It says that you owe <clears throat> a debt to your past self for handing off and putting you in the position to succeed. And you also owe a responsibility to your future self to finish as strong as you possibly can. And I read that and I was like, and what's funny is when I was reading before, there was like a little passage in here beforehand and I was like, oh damn, I have to talk about that and then I get to the end of the chapter because I told you guys each day I'm doing one chapter before I go live so sometimes my lives are a little bit later than normal but that's because I'm sticking to what I said I wanted to do because otherwise I won't get it done once I go live I'll get right into work mode and I totally won't finish and I'm loving this book so um I didn't read this book over the weekend I listened to a different book during my during my run on Sunday um but then there was another like quote unquote truth bomb that he put in the book that I loved and it says get a little better today than you were yesterday. Multiply that by 365 days in a year and your life will be transformed. I was like, huh, never thought of it that way. I always say do a little bit better today than you did yesterday, but I never thought like multiply that by 365 and so anyways, let's talk about that you owe a debt to your past self. And how you owe a lot to your future self. So, good morning, Mom. So, the whole thing about owing a debt to your past self. I owe tons to my past self. To that vindictive, bitter, um, unhappy, negative, sometimes self-centered person that I used to be. I was never the happiest. Um... I definitely went through a lot and I think back and I'm like, if I had to do all of that again, I'd probably do it the same exact way. So reason being is because I am who I am today because of what I went through and who I was. I've grown so much as a person because of my past. So I owe a debt to my past self. Just like what he was saying, hi Pamela, um, because your past self, gosh, that's where you start. Like he was talking about in the book how he was um, molested as a child and, you know, and, and not that he's grateful for that, but that is where he, he pulled his strength from. He had the strength to 
say, you know what, I need to leave this house. Even though he was leaving his mom behind, he was leaving his brother behind, he was like, I have to leave this house. And he had to think of himself. Hey, David, which him thinking of himself was not a selfish act. And that's what we need to remember. Hey, Julie, I hope you're feeling better. And that's what we need to remember is, you know, just because... We're thinking of what's good for us or we're thinking of things that we could do to make ourselves happy and we have ourself on our mind does not mean that you're selfish and does not mean that you're self-centered. That just means you want things in life that are going to make you happy. And he talked about that in this chapter. Um, but what I love the most is how he brought out the title that I had said that you owe to your past self. Hi, Diane. Good morning. So you need to really think of that. Like when you think back on your past, you know, do you think back with a negative mindset? Do you think back with, you know, I can't believe I was that person? Or do you look back of, I wish I still was that person? Maybe you've changed in the not so good manner now. So I need to take this tape off and fix it. Total squirrel moment, but I could feel it loosening. <laughs> um, so you really, really, really need to think of that. Um, and because I have some new people hopping on, I want to read the passage that I got this from. It says, you owe a debt to your past self for handing off and putting you in the position to succeed. So even though in your past you might have been going through some crap like me, you know, going through that is what put me in this path to succeed. And in this path, to, and for me, when I'm looking at success in my life, I'm not looking at the money I have in the bank or I'm not looking at how many people I've helped get started on their health, fitness, and wellness journey. What I'm looking at is me as a person. Good morning, Deborah. And how I've changed and who I've become. That's where I that's where I file my success with, with who I am now. Are there still things I need to change? Absolutely. No one's perfect. There's always room for improvement, no matter who you are. I don't care who you are. You could be Jennifer Anderson sitting in front of me. There's room for improvement. No one is perfect. On that note, I'll have some of my superpowers. <laughs> but it's something that you need to you need to always be working on that. But you can thank your past self. And what he was talking to you about handing it off, he was saying that, you know, when he used to run track in high school, how he did that baton relay run where you hold the baton, you have to pass it off to the other person, but you have to make sure you pass it off correctly because if you drop it, you're out. So that's what he was talking about. He was talking about passing the baton. So then when he said, you know, you owe a debt to your past self for handing it off, that's what that's kind of like where the reference was coming from. But you like our past is what put us in this path and this path to succeed. If you feel that you're not in the path to succeed, then right now you are your past. And there's going to be a future self. And you owe it to your future self to figure that out. Take the path and go with it. Stop holding yourself back. Stop waiting for someone to push you or for someone to do it for you. So before I read my chapter, I listened to a couple Mel Robbins videos. I'm actually in a 31-day program with Mel Robbins, who if you guys remember, Mel Robbins was the one that did the five-second rule that I have implemented in many things in life. Um, and thanks to Mel Robbins, I've actually done things that I never thought I could do. Um, so... When a friend of mine told me about her 31 day program where for 31 days each day, she sends you a passage with a video to watch. So that's where I start my personal development. And I actually listened to three of those videos this morning while I was making Kayla's breakfast, Alex's shake, getting his ketones all ready, getting all that stuff done. I was listening to that. And that's personal development. And then I read my book when everybody left and the house was quiet so I wasn't interrupted. And she was talking about things like that too of, you know, you have your past self, you have your now self, and you have your future self. And you need to, hi Yusuf, I'm doing well, thank you, how are you? And you need to um, thank your, your past self for who you are now, your present self. Hi Laura. And then you're going to create your future self of who you really truly want to be. So for me, even though with my past I went through so many things, 
I'm very, hi Jen, I'm very grateful and thankful for everything that I went through. Because like he says here in his book, I'm going to thank and owe that debt to my past self because it put me in this path to be successful now. I went through so many horrible things to learn from them, to become strong, and now I owe it to my future self to be strong and to finish strong. And that's what he was meaning when he um, was saying in his book, Jen, I'm actually talking about, God, my nose is itchy. I'm reading my T is for Transformation book, so I'm giving some feedback on the chapter from today. And I listened to three of those Mel Robin videos. So I was talking about that also, just to catch you up a little bit. Um, so I owe it and you owe it to your future self to finish the race strong. You honestly don't want to be sitting on a porch with gray hair and so old you can't do anything with resentment and regrets and, oh, I wish I did, I wish I did, I wish I did. You want to sit in that rocking chair. And for me, I'll be on a rocking chair on a porch in Tennessee just looking at the mountains. And I want to be sitting in that chair and I want to feel fulfilled. I want to be like, damn, did I live my life? And I owe my future self that. I owe my future self to stay on the path that's going to get me to that end game that I want. And you owe it as well. We all do. So that's what I wanted to share with you guys today um, out of my book, which I will put over here because I'm done with it for now. I might read a little later. But we all owe it to ourselves to be the best version of ourselves that we can be. Pass that baton and pass it to yourself. So when you're ready for that change, take that imaginary baton, here's my baton, pass it to yourself. Pass it off and, and, and be ready to accept it and make a little change. So I do have a call to action as I always do because there's no sense in you just listening to me babble and not give you something to do to implement what I've learned. So here's something that you could do. You need to reflect. Whether that's just a mental reflection, whether you write it down on paper, jot it down in a digital journal, whatever it may be, you need to reflect. And in that reflection, you need to write down all your best qualities and all your not so best qualities. So whether you wanna do a good and bad, a pro and con, however you wanna write it, but make it a list. So here's your goods, here's your bads. And be honest with yourself, be true to yourself. And then from there, you know what steps you need to take to start making changes so you can owe that to your future self to be the best version of you. But you need to do it from like an outsider's perspective. So you can't, it's very hard to basically like judge yourself. It's very hard to say what you do right and what you do wrong. I know my faults. I know the things that I do wrong and I'm working really hard to change that. I lose my patience very fast with my kids. Um... Sometimes I have that negative mindset when it comes to people helping me with chores around the house. So I know things that I do wrong. Sometimes I give too much of my heart to people that don't deserve it. So I need to start learning <laughs> quickly on how to see which people those are. So I stop doing that. Um, sometimes I give too much of my time to people that don't deserve all of my time. So there are faults. Everybody has faults. We are humans. We are not robots. Um... So, you know, you sit down and you say your good qualities, like good qualities of mine are how I'm there for people, how I'm loyal to my friends, how I love with my whole heart. I wear my heart on my sleeve, which the heart on the sleeve can be a good and bad, um, depending on the people you're surrounding yourself with. So you need to write down all your good qualities, all your bad qualities. They're going to be different for everyone. And then when you have those in front of you, visually, on paper, you know changes that you need to make. Obviously, good qualities you don't need to make, but what you need to do is you need to act those good qualities more often. So if you write them out, you know things to do more often. So that's what I have for you today. Um, I hope that's a little bit of motivation Monday for the morning for you guys. I hope you have a fantastic day today. You have to make it a great day. You can't, you know, wait for somebody to make it a great day for you. You have to make it a great day. I think my day is going to be fantastic. I'm going to be done with this with you guys. I'm going to do a couple things around the house, get organized, and then I'm going to sit down and get my work done, which means I'm going to answer the messages back that you guys have sent me. Thank you, sweetheart. 
I am going to be inviting you guys to my next obsession group. So I have some really great fun things going on to get us through the holidays and to start off 2018 with the bang. So make sure you check your messenger because I'm going to be sending some messages out. So I hope you guys have a fantastic Monday and I will see you later. Bye.